Hi, my name is Teresa Strawberry. I come from the Ochis First Nation. I speak um, both fluent uh, Cree and Soto, and we're doing this teaching today, but I'd like to acknowledge my also uh, name that was given by my ancestors, my grandparents. Uh, uh, they called me uh, Buffalo Woman. Pasquama Studkowitasma, Buffalo Woman. Today I'm here to tell you a little story of how the braid came to be and how it's related to our, uh, we associate it to the medicines, particularly the sweet grass. Wanaske, sweet grass. Wanaske. And how it's braided into a braid like my braid. So we section it off to three different parts, and that three different parts is represented by the body, mind, and spirit. Nia, body. Nia, mum chune chikan. Mind, mum chune chikan. Achak, spirit. Achak. So when you weave it together, the body, mind, and spirit is connected to one to be able to to tell the knowledge, to be the story, storytellers of how our culture and our beliefs and our, our, uh, our spiritual uh, realm of things come together. And so when you braid your hair into this, you become the one holy person that you need to be because our hair represents the strength of our, our being. And same thing with the medicine, the sweet grass. When we braid it into the three, it weaves the body, mind, and spirit to be able to smudge and to be able to purify our body, mind, and spirit. I begin. Braid. I begin. 